it was time for a trip to the laundromat. Welcome to our Airbnb in Dolores, Colorado. Look at this thing, a tiny home. I've seen these on YouTube. I've never been on one, been, been inside one. So uh, it is on wheels, but it looks like it's permanently installed here with the lattice underneath. And we got a little shaded sitting area with some Adirondacks. And of course, I'll show you the inside. Let's turn this onto the wide angle lens. That's kind of needed in these small houses to see everything. Allison is studying upstairs with Sherlock for the bar exam. So here's the ground floor. A little bench seating, kitchenette, fridge, wood burning stove if needed. There is an AC unit up there on the wall to keep things cool. Midday it's needed. And here is the bathroom and there is a shower stall to the left and sink and toilet. Then I'll show you upstairs to the loft area. There's Sherlock Holmes, loving the tiny, tiny home life. And Allison's Hi. studying for the bar exam. <laughs> hey, hey. Good morning, it's day 23, Friday, June 7. We are leaving Mulva, Colorado. Nope, that's Dolores, Colorado. And I'm in my new white compression pants. They're pretty scandalous. Both Allison and Paul just laughed when they saw me in there. Um, I might need some pair of shorts to wear over these so I don't get arrested. And today we are headed to Durango. This is, uh, deviates from the original plan. The original plan was to go up to Telluride, Montrose, Gunnison, Salida. The problem is US 50 has a bridge that's out there um, along the route and you need to deviate far to the north or far to the south. So we're doing the southern uh, deviation detour and it uh, will take us through Durango and Pagosa Springs and Del Norte and then up to Salida and we'll be back on track. So the unfortunate thing is, you know, all the stuff I had prepared for the videos and GPS files and, you know, some of the history of these towns um, and those relive overlays, I won't be able to use those for the next few days. So the videos might not be as well produced but that's what we have to do when there's changes to the plan. The other plan could have been to just wait for the bridge to be repaired, which would have been done in 2026. So, you know, just wait a couple years. But I didn't linger on that idea too long. After the service that Scott did on my bike in Dolores, wow, rear wheel feels great feels rock solid. My brakes are tighter. Uh, just feels like a new bike. And I'm sure I needed, needed that. It really came at an opportune time. Those broken spokes right when I hobbled into a city with an exceptional bike shop. The scenery change. Almost immediately when we hit the Colorado border, a couple days ago was pretty stark. Landscape is so much greener and more bodies of water. I mean, I'm thinking how many bodies of water did I actually ride past through the entirety of Nevada and Utah? It wasn't many and I've already been past several rivers, lakes, and reservoirs here in Colorado. 
keeping the landscape green. This exaggerated relief map of the United States reveals a couple of things to me. First is the stark contrast between the regions east and west of the Rockies. West of the Rockies looks like detailed coral reef to me. And second is that there are very few truly flat areas in our country. They're concentrated in Florida and around the Gulf of Mexico. Don't know if I mentioned this, but at the bike shop when Scott found a used rear wheel in the back so he didn't have to order me a new one. He said this actually belonged to a local Dolores cycling racing legend and he told me his name I looked him up on my phone. I joked with him. I feel like I'm uh, George Costanza in the episode where he bought John Voigt's car and I got this cycling legends wheel now on the rear of the stretch limo. I'm sporting this new crossbody bag. Toss the old one. The one that had the strap that was falling apart. And this one seems to be staying in place better. It was sad to say goodbye to my wife and Sherlock, but really encouraging to be with them for, you know, 36 hours or so. And I have a couple other acquaintances I get to see in the upcoming days. One of my best friends from high school and bandmates, Caleb Stambaugh, played bass in Slick Fiction. He, uh, he's gonna drive an hour and a half to have dinner with me in Canyon City, Colorado. That's super nice. I haven't seen him in person since, <laughs> I'm gonna guess the year 2000. Uh, we've been on phone calls and Zoom calls but not in person since then, wow. And then my mom's cousin, Mike, who I'll call Uncle Mike, um, he lives in Denver, and he's gonna drive down and see me in Pueblo. He cycled across America back in the 60s uh, with my Uncle Bruce, who I interviewed earlier on this channel. So that'll be encouraging. And then once Kansas hits, I got some some friends, actually, uh, closer friends of my wife, but I went to college with them as well, and hopefully we'll get to meet up in some stretches of Kansas. Peter from Duluth is no longer riding with us. He didn't take a rest day in Dolores and pressed on. Even if he had taken the rest day, he is uh, arriving on the East Coast up in Boston, I believe and would have deviated from our route somewhere in eastern Colorado. So we wouldn't have had many more days with him anyways. But he was a nice fella to spend a couple weeks with on the road. Since Peter was a day ahead of us, he told us a few things to stop at. And one is this uh, grocery store, a natural grocery store in Mancos, M-A-N-C-O-S. Don't know if that's the pr proper pronunciation, Colorado. Um, and so that's three and a half miles from here. I'm huffing and puffing because I'm climbing right now. We stopped at the Zuma Natural Grocers here in Mancos and heading out. I ate three plums. Paul shared with me half of his grapefruit, and I drank a coconut water. So that was nice. So we're gonna stop maybe in a town called Hes Hesperos. Was that the name of the next city? Because uh, I have a sandwich that I had got back in Dolores that I can enjoy for a late lunch. Stop by the side of the road, 
on uh, midway through my second climb to eat my sandwich. I thought, why wait till the top of the climb? At the top of the climb, I'm just gonna have to coast downhill. I'm not gonna need calories for that. That's gonna be a piece of cake. I need the calories now. in Colorado than there was in Nevada and Utah. Made it to Durango. Paul was ahead of me and found this coffee shop. We are people watching, and Paul said that Durango met his expectations. It's what he thought it was gonna be like. Paul just finished getting his two cappuccinos at the Durango Coffee Company, and now we're riding 2.3 miles further north to our warm showers. We've had a pleasant ride north through Durango on their river bike trail called the Animus Bike Trail. Quite nice. Shaded along the river. And I think we're getting off of it right now. Here's the daily recap for day 23 from Dolores to Durango. Scenery was an eight and the Difficulty was a uh, five. Overall feeling of positivity, we'll keep that at an eight. See you tomorrow.